Hello, good day everyone and welcome again to our new lesson about marketing management and we are now at the chapter 11 uh, we'll be talking about retailing and wholesaling so if, if you remember in, in the last session we talked about uh, managing marketing channels and um, we, we've mentioned that um, a company may not exist uh, exist by its own so it may be dependent on another another companies as well and other people as well to uh, deliver value and satisfaction to its customer so uh, this uh, session will be um, discussing about this uh, retailing and wholesaling thing and um, uh, this uh, this is probably part of our managing marketing channels that's probably the downstreams now uh, where, where companies are are uh, distributing uh, the their products and um, how services are um, are given to the final con consumers okay so uh, today today it's about the uh, retailing and wholesaling and uh, uh, we'll be we'll be answering a marketing question where will it be available no so after after strategizing the products the price and um, what what other channels be about your suppliers so we'll be we'll be dealing uh, the question where should it be available i repeat where should it be available sansa pwedeng maging available so we'll be will be uh, digging that deeper to our session para malaman natin yung tamang strategy kung saan maging available yung mga products and services natin so uh, these sessions objectives are you are able to explain the roles of retailers in the distribution channel and describe the major types of retailers and then uh, describe the major retailer marketing decisions and then number three, discuss the major trends and developments in retailing. And last is you can able to describe major types of wholesalers and their marketing decision. First, we need to uh, discuss about the meaning of retailing. So what's retailing? Retailing is all activities involved in selling goods or services directly to final consumers for their personal or non-business use. No? So, um, kumbaga... Uh, the question in the market managing marketing channel is uh, how can you make things available for final consumption that's the question in managing marketing channels so uh, this uh, this chapter will be answering um, some of those que um, part or major part of the that question how can it be available so uh, this retailing is an activity wherein you are say, selling goods or services directly to final consumers for personal and non-business use and most retailing is done by retailers but non-store retailing has recently gone, uh, grown by leaps and bounds so uh, right now because of digital marketing and uh, online selling uh, we uh, we are not uh, we are now on the era that um, uh, selling selling things unconventionally so we'll be digging deeper to that in the next chapters no? okay so we have different types of retailers there are different types of retailers that can be classified based on the following so first is the amount of service they offer gano kalawak no? yung um, binibenta nila and um, the breadth and the depth of uh, the product line so gano kadami gano ka, ka lalim yung um, uh, product product lines na ino offer then the relative prices charge so there are different retailers that are uh, selling different uh, price range there are certain naman na uh, yung mga mas mabababang um, prices segments lang din so depende yan and how they are organized no so the, we have different types of retailers classification by the amount of service as mentioned earlier there, there are what we call self service retailers so who are these uh, self service retailers uh, serve customers who are willing to perform their own locate compare select process to save money so um uh, parang ito yung ito yung mga klase ng tao kasi na bumibili sa klase ng mga retailers na tinitingnan nila yung price and the specifications they they get to compare that 
uh, from one one aisle to another. So, meron mga ganun self-service retailers. So, ikaw na bahala pumili. Nasa sa'yo na yan. So, that's what we call the self-service retailers. No? Then, we have what we call limited sur- uh, service retailers. Kung kanina, the self-service retailers is uh, focus on the price and the specs no, to locate, compare, and select select products. In a limited service uh, service retailers, uh, mas matas na level ng um, shopping goods ang binibenta dito. We're in, you're providing more sales assistance as they carry more shopping goods about which details are needed. So, uh, specific, uh, mas focus the specifications more than the price. And then lastly, we have the full service retailers we're in. They usually carry more specialty goods for which customers need or want assistance or advice. Kasi nga, mas matatas na level ng mga product in terms of um, product classification as mentioned in our past chapters. No? So, uh, according by length and breadth of their product assortment, so as mentioned earlier, we have what we call the product lines. Ano yung mga offerings? Gaano kadami yan? No? Um, what segments do they target? So we have what we call special specialty stores. What are the specialty stores? From the word itself, specialty it means uh, there's a uh, there's a specific product na binebenta lang dyan, or uh, specific product lines na binebenta or specific brand na binebenta. So according to our our um, uh, um, presentation, these feature narrow product lines with deep assortment. So, for example, it's uh, the Mac Store, Apple Mac Store. So, it's just the uh, narrow uh, product lines. No, Hindi na siya lalabas doon sa mga binibenta niya. By the way, merong mga klase ng distribution na tinatawag dyan. No? So, department store naman uh, is uh, different uh, uh, different uh, types, type of store we're in. Uh, these, these offers wide variety of products product lines of clothing, uh, home furnishing, household, and goods. No? So, uh, department store mostly are those uh, uh, which uh, offers variety of goods. No? Uh, paano siya nagkakaiba dun sa supermarket? No? Uh, ang isang department store yun nga, it's mo- more on the dry goods. No? And also, uh, yun, the clothing, the um, uh, non-consumable items. No? Kung baga, hindi naubos. Ginagamit lang, pero hindi naubos. So, in supermarkets, uh, papano siya nagiging, nagiging kakaibays? Uh, usually, carry relatively large variety of low-cost margin uh, groceries and consumables were in. Uh, these are used for final consumptions. No? So, yun nga, it's uh, consumable, uh, kinakain, o ginagamit no uh, yun yung binebenta ng supermarkets no it's a low variety uh, large variety but low cost so, ibig sabihin these are convenience and uh, somehow shopping goods in the department store hindi naman masyado they, they get to have a, um, a higher uh, what do you call that shopping goods or uh, those uh, goods that are that are relatively compared with others no, so, yun yung ginagawa sa department store. As you can see sa department store, tabi-tabi yung mga uh, brand ng damit, brand ng sapato. So, that's sa department store. Sa specialty store naman, iisa lang o naraw lang yung product line. Na supermarket, mostly are available. Yung mga napaka, uh, napaka um, medyo may kamurahan na uh, ano. Kasi, these are used for um, final consumption sa ano sa bahay. And then we have what we call the uh, convenience stores. No? Ano naman pagkakaiba ng convenience stores sa isang supermarket? Kasi nga, low, uh, uh, low price margin ang tinat- sinasabi sa supermarket. A convenience stores carry a limited line of high turnover convenience goods. So, ano, ano, ano yung mga convenience goods na yun? Uh, sa madaling salita, uh, a convenience stores ay nagbebenta ng mga products na um, madali i-pick up at uh, sandali, um, mabi, uh, kailangan na kailangan. No? O, uh, from that from that, um, from that that moment, there's an emergency use. No? Kanya, convenience goods and convenience stores that, because um, kailangan mo siya. Bibiglaan mo siyang kailangan or um, madali mo siyang i-pick up. So, that's the setup of the convenience stores. So, ano na makaibahan ng superstores? No? Superstores are much done, uh, much, much done larger than these uh, supermarkets. 
Superstores offer a large assortment of routine, uh, routinely purchased food goods, non-food items and services. Uh, ito na yung mas malaking, mas malaking supermarket or in, pati na yung mga department store ay kasali na. So that's a uh, uh, superstores uh, such as what we call the hypermarkets, no? So uh, these superstores are category killers. We're in kasi any assortment ay nandiyan na, any product line andiyan na o yung mga levels ng product lines or the offerings of your product lines are also available. So ganun kalawak, no? So kumbaga sinasama niya na lahat, no? So we also have what we call uh, stores uh, based on the price classification. So this is what we call a discount store and uh, off price retailer. Paano siya, sila nakakaiba? Si di discount stores para makabenta ng marami ay uh, nagbababa ng presyo. So sell standard merchandise at a lower price and margins in return for higher volume. Na ibig sabihin nito, o oh, pag nakita nilang mura yung produkto, bibili sila ng marami. No? So it's a strategy on distribution. Now, uh, what are off price retailers? Off price retailers uh, frequently these are uh, retailers that uh, buy merchandise at a less than regular wholesale price which are sold at a less than retail. So goods include overruns, irregulars, no, and uh, leftovers. Then it includes uh, independent off price retailer, factory outlets and uh, warehouse and wholesale clubs. Kanya nga, mas mura sila. So, kakaiba naman yun sa discount stores. Ang discount store nga, is the regular merchandise, pero nagbebenta ka ng, uh, nagbebenta ka ng, um, mas mura ng konti dun sa mga ibang mga stores. Si off-price retailer are not, uh, some, sometimes are not a uh, uh, regular merchandise, but uh, overruns, uh, irregulars, uh, leftovers, and, um, uh, wholesale clubs and um, outlets no uh, na syempre mura din no ibig sabihin uh, ibig sabihin nito ay uh, nag-offer din ng mga mura and uh, some others are offering offering uh, bulk sales no bulk sales para mas mura din siya no para tumaas din yung return so kanina is nagdi-discount ka para uh, para dumami yung benta ngayon uh, maramihang benta para uh, para ma-discount sila. So baliktad ng approach, no? Okay. So uh, there are types of retailers depending on the um, retail organization, type of retail organization. We have a corporate chain store. So if you remember the vertical uh, vertical MS or the marketing systems that uh, uh, companies employ uh, their own distribution systems na no, para mag-distribute ng mga products nila. So that's a corp corporate uh, chain store. So kumbaga nag uh, nagpo-provide ka ng mga retail outlets para maging um, maging available yung items. So uh, in that case uh, that's a marketing marketing channel. But however, uh, not all companies can afford to do that because of uh, the uh, the limitations of financial and logis uh, logistical resources. Now that's why there are what we call a voluntary chain. So, uh, what are the voluntary chain? These are third-party uh, sponsored uh, sponsored group of independent retailers engaged in group buying and merchandising. So there are uh, there are a uh, group of companies or some other companies that uh, that are um, that are uh, willing to sell or retail your product. So that's the idea of voluntary chain. So this is a third-party um, merchandiser we're in nagpa-purchase siya mula sa manufacturer to distribute the product. So, um, in fact, these are a third party na pwede makatulong in the um, channel channel um, distribution. No? So, uh, also, we have what we call a retail cooperative. Retailer cooperative is a group of independent retailers who set up a central buying organization and uh, con conduct uh, joint promotion efforts. No? So, uh, it's a third party then sa cooperative and we have also a franchise organization wherein you allow uh, and license other people to distribute uh, your products. No, It's a contractual association between a franchiser and a franchisee. Soon you'll be discussing uh, a franchise uh, franchising management sa ibang mga subjects. No? So, retailer, retailer marketing decisions. Uh, your decisions 
are based from these uh, um, factors. We have the segmentation and targeting. Who are your targets? Now, so if uh, sh should have been your targets are are at uh, the uh, the geographic location and also uh, the uh, economic segment. No, so kung nasa class D, e yan, so uh, you you you'll be thinking of how how will be distributed. Of course, your company resources um, uh, might be might be an issue there. So uh, will you will you put up a retail outlet or uh, you uh, you allow voluntary organizations or uh, voluntary retailers to uh, distribute your products? Now then, your uh, store differentiation and positioning. So if you're able to put up that, how can you be uh, be uh, different from from other retailing institutions? And then your retail marketing mixes. That's why, um, as mentioned in our past uh, past session, uh, we we made mention of there are companies that are that are selling um, selling um, just a brand, uh, one uh, exclusive brand, and there are. Uh, retailers that are selling exclusive uh, intensively or uh, in assortment so uh, depending on some strategy in your retailing mix so kasali din yung uh, prices uh, the packages or product combination on the yun, uh, all other marketing aspects of your retailing and marketing decision should create value for targeted retail consumers so, uh, one of that value is uh, the availability of your products, particularly on the geographical market and the demographic market we're in. Uh, you got to pinpoint uh, where will it be available based based on your uh, target market. So, kung mas marami dyan sa lugar na yan, um, you, you, uh, you make it available. So, should you hire? Should you hire an agent? Should you put up put up store? Or you sh should you allow other other uh, companies to distribute your products? Th those are all part of the marketing retail marketing decision. No? So uh, your retail strategy must be in consonance with uh, your segmentation and targeting and the differentiation and positioning strategy. Retailers cannot make meaningful decisions related to the retail mix until they first define uh, and profile their target market. See uh, how uh, managing marketing information topic has really is helping us to uh, come up with a decision. So you need to gain market insights. No, so uh, kailangan malaman mo yung profile nila, kailangan malaman mo yung location nila para makapag decide ka ng maayos. No, and then your retailing retail marketing mix uh, includes this uh, product and service assortment, your prices, promotion, and distribution, as mentioned earlier so uh, your retail marketing mix uh, has that product assortment that should be differentiate uh, the retailer while matching target shoppers expectation no? and then services mix can help uh, differentiate uh, one retailer from another as, as uh, I always I'll always tell to you there should be augmentation there should be uh, difference uh, on your services outside the product para para maging competitive advantage when you are offering value to the customers. Then, uh, store atmosphere uh, is important as a unique store experience can move customer to buy. So, that's experiential uh, retailing. Uh, in, in other, in other uh, context, they call that the, ano, the integrated experience no? or the total, uh, total uh, marketing experience. No, or total customer experience in other books that uh, it's not just more uh, it's not just that about the product of course you're just retailing the product no but uh, what other things they can benefit from no just like uh, the parking no? the parking lot no and um, um, customer service no kung meron mang, mga no? you you, saw, you you are seeing that in the supermarkets the, those people with sash to uh, to entertain your concerns so those are beneficial and part of the experiential retailing no or the um, retailing total retailing experience that uh, customers get from uh, shopping into your store no so your price decisions uh, the price policy must fit with the target markets and the positioning as i've mentioned lagi to sa lahat halos lahat ng mga sessions natin and discussions 
I I I always uh, see to to uh, put into context na tamang effort para sa tamang tao. So tamang decision para sa tamang tao. So if your target market sa klase ng tao ay nasa uh, mababang segment, of course, pricing decision in retailing must be a factor uh, in uh, in the decision making, no? Uh, depende sa position mo sa market, the target market and the position in the market the product service of assortment and also of course the competition no uh, na, na napag-aralan naman natin so you know you know uh, factors affecting the prices na okay so your promotion decisions also uh, includes the retailers can use any or all of the promotional tools just like the advertising personal selling sales promotion public relation and direct uh, marketing to reach customers no so, particularly kung ikaw ay naka-VMS or the Vertical Marketing Systems, pagdating mo naman sa horizontal, not, uh, your, your retailers or your um, uh, subcontractors or your con uh, contracted uh, organizations uh, can use uh, promotional tools on uh, pushing your products. No? And your place and uh, your distribution decisions is based on the location, of course. Location is uh, a key to uh, to success. Uh, being available, uh, being available in a physical uh, physical setup is still a factor uh, to consider because uh, it will re eventually reach your final uh, final customers. Yes, digital marketing and online online sales is a hit, but uh, there are still customers. There are still customers that uh, rely on uh, impulses, on the way, uh, on uh, the emergency use of or, or um, timely use of the product. So, uh, especially in uh, online selling, hindi naman laging available yung yung products on hand. So, uh, import the importance of the ano the retailers here are uh, available yung uh, yung product mo. That's why. Uh, mga tindahan or mga sari-sari store are still are still in in good shape despite of this uh, digital marketing kasi kailangan na agad ng tao eh, no? especially the convenience goods no so uh, location is really important yung malapit ka sa tao or ma kagad kang ma-access ng tao or you have other other value added services that are, are really help on the delivery um, quick delivery uh, of those uh, products and also the total experience to the customers, total uh, retailing experience. So, your retailers can locate in central business district, the regional shopping centers, uh, community shopping centers, strip malls, uh, power centers, and then um, uh, lifestyle centers. So, uh, ano tong mga to? So, what, what is the what the central business district? Ito yung mga ano, ito yung mga lugar kung saan malago yung uh, business Ah, uh, yung negosyo. So maglalagay ka ba diyan? So if you're uh, if you are a convenience goods, yes. Importante 'yan. Uh, regional shopping centers, then uh, community shopping centers, no? Uh, depende sa klase ng goods. So ano ba yung mga 'yan, no? Uh, the um, the question is where will you put your products available? No, availability of the products. No? So perhaps probably uh, wala tayong um, there are there are uh, certain products and uh, services that may not be available in a cent central business districts uh, there are there are things naman na dyan lang nagi uh, there are uh, products that dyan lang nagiging available so depende sa klase ng market depende sa product na binebenta no and also uh, some other mixes in the marketing uh, so, uh, our retail trends and development right now is the new retail forms and shortening retail life cycles. Uh, dahil uh, mabilis na lang ngayon, maraming mga forms of retailing, especially in Facebook and the uh, other social networking sites. Uh, meron ng mga direct selling doon. No? And then, uh, slowed economy and tightened, uh, tightened uh, consumer spending, uh, especially during this pandemic and also um, kakatapos lang na bagyo. Then, uh, growth of uh, non-store retailing. No? Um, yun nga, as mentioned in number one, napaka-general kasi number one. So, growth of non-store retailing, hindi na ganun ka-physical yung iba. No? Some others rely on on online uh, online uh, 
uh, online uh, approach, no? Uh, Doon na lang sila nag-order. Retail conv- convergence, lumakas nga ang pag-retail ngayon. Mega retailers are also there. You can see uh, many many supermarkets and the uh, su- uh, superstores are there. Growing importance of retail technology as uh, part of the digital experience. Global expansion of major retailers and retail stores as communities of hangouts. No? So, um, dahil nga part ng service nila is the retail, total uh, retail experience or the TRE, no? uh, nagiging hangouts ito dahil lumalawak sa retail stores. Yung, ano, look at Alpha Mart, it's not just a convenience store but also uh, meron silang mga spaces there wherein you can stay for a while just like a uh, mini stop and um, the 7-Eleven. So that's part of the total retail experience at nagiging hangout yan. So th- those are one, uh, those are some of the factors. Even um, uh, SM Save More, uh, eh, meron siya mga dedicated uh, spots there, no? depende sa klase na setup ng lugar nila. But uh, I have so Save More stores na meron mga spaces na ganun, mga hintayan or kainan. No? And that's part of it. No? And then, what's a wholesale, wholesaling naman? So kung kanina is retailing, uh, goods can be available to final consumers. Wholesaling is... Uh, includes all activities involved in selling goods and services to those uh, buying and resale or business use. So, kumbaga, ang market mo dito are businesses. No? So, um, ibebenta ulit nila. So, wholesalers add value for producers by performing one or more channel functions. So, uh, kung sila ay wholesalers then traders, and then uh, i-retail nila yan. No? So, uh, kumbaga, lumalawak yung network mo on the distribution because of wholesaling. No? So, hindi lang ikaw yung put up ng mga retailing uh, retailing centers mo, but also put effort on that to do your business. No? So, wholesaling is functions performed by wholesalers are selling and promoting, buying in, uh, an assortment, uh, building, bulk breaking. No? Kasi sila yung magbe-break ng bulk na karamihan at i-retail nila. So, uh, one good thing about uh, external wholesaling, no, in binebenta mo siya sa third party is uh, you don't need to put up a warehouse, no, and also the logistics hindi na ikaw yung magpo-provide. That's why uh, many companies uh, do do this, no? And then um, the financing especially uh, kung ang mga produkto mo ay medyo may kamahalan, no? So, uh, wholesalers are those who who take risk of this financial risk, no, risk bearing. No, uh, as uh, I, I I remember uh, I mentioned with you the um, the selling of motorcycles. So kasal din yung financing and risk bearing. Then wholesalers ha- has that uh, market information and uh, management of uh, management services and uh, advice is uh, uh, performed by these wholesalers. Where in, sabi nga they they can get the market insights as the final retailers or sila yung may direct contact sa final retailers so they they have that data and uh, they make it available to the no- manufacturers no so uh, merchant wholesalers are independently owned wholesalers business that uh, takes title uh, to the merchandise it handles so ibig sabihin nito uh, sila yung uh, nagbebenta no uh, mar- maramihan kaya merchant eh ibig sabihin nag um, nene-negosyo nila yung pagbili nila nung maramihan sa'yo kasi mas nakakatipid sila tapos ay ibebenta sa iba no? at uh, i-retain nila so largest group of wholesalers no? and then um, uh, account for 50% of wholesaling according to statistics and uh, two broad categories is we have uh, full service wholesalers and limited full service uh, wholesalers as uh, also same with uh, retailing you have full service retailing and uh, limited service re- retailing na pareho din halos yung ibig sabihin yun nga lang uh, retailing yung isa wholesaling yung isa so uh, we have different types of wholesalers we have brokers and agents mga hente so do not take title to the goods but uh, sila lang yung nagbebenta ng produkto so perform only a few function and specialize by product line or customer type so sino nagbebenta niyan o ano yung binebenta niya ganun ang klase ng mga um, agents so, brokers bring buyers and sellers together because uh, sila yung intermediary ng communication between the wholesaler and also the final consumer no? or the retailer in, in general. 
No? So, uh, agents represent buyers on, on a more permanent basis. No? Dahil uh, uh, sila yung nga yung kumokontak sa mga huling nag, uh, nag-orders. No? Uh, manufacturers agents are the most common type of agent wholesalers. So, yung agent wholesalers dahil uh, sila yung kumukuha ng uh, orders, so final orders. No? Or group, uh, bulk orders din uh, for retailing. Depende yan. No? Kasi nga, binibreak lang na yung sobrang laking hull. No? So, uh, manufacturers, sales branches and, and offices no? uh, involves wholesaling by sellers or uh, buyers themselves rather than through independent wholesalers. So, that's uh, that's function of manufacturers, sales branches and offices. No? Uh, it involves wholesaling by sellers or buyers themselves. No? Okay, so wholesalers' uh, marketing decisions. Uh, part of the strategy of wholesalers is the segmentation, targeting, differentiation, and positioning. As the same with the retailing, lagi naman yun that uh, you, you, you get to know about the segments of your market. Then, same with the wholesalers' marketing mix. You need also to, uh, uh, yun nga lang, Ang wholesalers marketing mix kasi is a bigger approach dahil nga hindi final consumers ang binebentahan niya, no? Or uh, if you are selling to a wholesaler or um, a merchant wholesaler. So, uh, kumbaga business uh, market ang tawag dito, hindi consumer market, hindi consumer behavior ang kino-consider mo, no? So, trends naman sa wholesaling ngayon are the need for ever greater efficiency dahil nga um malaking market ito demands for lower price prices of course kasi nga ire-retail pa rin nila yan uh, win- uh, winnowing out of uh, uh, suppliers uh, who are not adding value based on uh, cost and quality so um, yun yung pinakano natin ngayon is the cost and quality then uh, distinction between large retailers and wholesalers continue to blur no um, dahil nga uh parang nearly the same na ang large uh, retailer dun sa uh, wholesalers kasi nga large retailers can be also wholesalers na rin no wholesalers will continue to increase the services provided to retailers and wholesalers are now glo- going global no so those those are the trends in wholesaling and uh, that's that's it for today so our main agenda is um, how can it be available and um, papano natin bine-breakdown yan and what are those strategies on uh, on selling using wholesaling and retailing uh, approaches as part of your marketing channels. Okay, with that, I'm Sir Kevin Asuncion. Thank you for watching and uh, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you on to the next one. Always be safe.